Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we'll take a look into fragment expressions. Well, fragment expressions are an easy way to represent fragments of a markup and move them around templates. Well, consider the example over here. In typical web applications, we create a common piece of code like we create a header footer and we'll include them in all the HTML pages, isn't it? So instead of adding the same code in all the HTML files, what we can do is we can make this common code as a fragment and then we can use fragment expressions to include this fragment in our respective HTML pages. Well, here is a syntax for fragment expression. This is a tidly symbol. Within a curly braces, we pass the fragment selector name. And here you can see there are three basic ways to include content from the fragment. Well, here are the three thumblip attributes th colon insert, th colon replace, th colon include. Well, th colon insert will insert the content inside the current tag and the th colon replace will replace the current tag with the tag defining the fragment and this th colon include thumblip attribute is deprecated so we can focus on these two thumblip attributes okay so most of the time developers uses th colon replace thumblip attributes to replace the current tag with the tag defining the fragment okay we'll see an example how we can use th colon replace and th colon insert attributes to insert the fragment in a thumblip templates okay so we'll take this example like we'll create a header and footer as a fragment and we'll include these fragments using fragment expressions. So let's go to IntelliJ IDEA and let's create the example step by step. So let's go to templates folder and let's create the fragments first. So within templates folder let me create one folder. Let's call it as common and within a common folder let's define header and footer thumblip template. So let me create HTML file and let me give name as header okay and let's write the code for this header.html file well here let me give title as a header and next let's define the xml namespace for time leap at the beginning of this html page so here just type xml namespace th equal to http and then www.thymelip.org now we have defined the xml namespace for time leap Next, go to body. Within the body, we'll write a piece of code and then we'll make it as a fragment. So let's create a div. All right, and let's create a h2 element over here. And then let's give heading as a header part, something like that. And after this, let's draw a horizontal line using tr HTML element over here. And let's make this div as a fragment. So in order to make this piece of code as a fragment, we can use th colon fragment thumblip attribute. So here we're gonna use th colon fragment thumblip attribute to define this piece of code as a fragment. And let's give fragment selector name as a header. Perfect. Now we have defined this piece of code as a fragment, and this fragment we can include in any HTML file in our application. Okay, now similarly, let's define a fragment for footer. So go to common folder, right click on it, new and then HTML file and then let's use file name as footer and let's use title as a footer and let's define the XML namespace for time leap XML namespace colon th equal to HTTP and then www.thymelip.org Next go to body, within our body Let's write a piece of code and let's make it as a fragment. So here, let me create a div. All right, and within a div, let me create a h1 element and let's add some heading like footer part, something like that. Well, before this h1 heading, let's add a horizontal line by using hr element. Next, let's make this piece of code as a fragment by using th colon fragment timely attribute. So go to view here just type th colon fragment and let's use fragment selector name as a footer. Now we can include this fragment in a timely HTML pages. Okay. Now we have defined header and footer fragments. Next, let's create a handler method that will return the timely HTML page view. So go to user controller and here let me write the comment handler method to handle fragment expression request okay so let's write the method public and let's use return type of the method is string and let's use method name as 
fragment expression and let's annotate this method with add get mapping annotation to handle http get request get with the url fragment hyphen expression okay perfect next this this handler method will return the thumbnail template view name that is fragment hyphen expression perfect now we have created handler method it returns a fragment selection thumbnail template view next let's create this thumbnail template and let's use a fragment expressions so go to templates folder within templates folder let's create a html file and let's use name as a fragment expression all right and let's use title as fragment expressions perfect and go to body before that let's define the xml namespace just type xml namespace colon th equal to http and then www dot timelib dot org next go to body within the body let's have a h1 element to define the heading so let's give heading as fragment expressions demo perfect next let's create a div well in order to insert a fragment we have a couple of timely attributes for example if you can see here we have th colon insert timely attribute as well as th colon replace timely attribute so this th colon insert timely attribute will insert the content inside the current tag and this th colon replace attribute will replace the current tag with the tag defining the fragment so let's first see how to use th colon replace timely attribute and then later we will see how to use th colon insert timely attribute all right and this th colon replace attribute will replace the current div tag with the tag defining the fragment for example if you go back to inclusion idea and go to this file and here we are defining the div okay and th colon replace timely attribute will replace this div and it will put the fragment content okay so here within a div let's use th colon replace timely attribute and then we can use a fragment expressions so here is a syntax this is a tidly symbol and then within a curly braces we need to pass the fragment selector name so if you can notice here we have a common folder within that we have header.html as well as putter.html okay so here is a syntax tidly symbol within a curly braces we need to pass the folder name that is common within a common folder we have header.html so slash header after that double colon expression and then we need to provide a fragment selector name well we have given a fragment selector name as a header right for example if you go to header.html file here we have given a header as a fragment selector name for this div isn't it so let me copy this fragment selector name and let's go back to fragment expression and here let's paste it okay so this is the syntax to use a fragment expression to insert a fragment well here we are using th colon replace timely attribute this attribute will replace this div with a fragment content for example if you go to header.html file we have this div right so th colon replace timely attribute will replace the current div with this fragment div okay it won't keep this div inside this div okay so th colon replace will simply replace this div with the this fragment div okay but th colon insert timely attribute what it does it will insert this fragment div inside this div okay so i hope you understood the difference between th colon replace and th colon insert so th colon replace will replace the current div with the fragment div and th colon insert timely attribute will insert the fragment div inside this div it won't replace the current div okay so most of the time we use th colon replace timely attribute with fragment expressions okay next similarly let's insert a putter fragment using fragment expressions so after this div let's have some content for that let's have a div and then let's have a h1 element and let's put some heading over here let's say page body perfect and after this div let's have one more div and let's use th colon 
replace family attribute. Next, let's use fragment expression to insert a fragment. So here is a syntax delay symbol within a curly braces. We need to pass the fragment. So we have a common folder within that we have a footer you know footer thumbnail template if you can notice here we have a common folder within that footer thumbnail template that we are you know giving here and then after that we have a double colon expression and then you know fragment selector name that is footer well if you go to footer.html file we have we have given fragment selector name as a footer right so this name we are providing over here okay now we have used th colon replace thumbnail attribute to insert a footer fragment using fragment expression over here now let's go ahead and let's run our Spring Boot application and let's see the demo of fragment expressions so let me start the Spring Boot application again well our Spring Boot application is up and running let's go to browser and in our browser just type localhost colon 8080 slash fragment hyphen expression and hit enter and there we go fragment expressions demo after that we have header part and then page body and footer part and this header part is basically a header fragment and after that this is a actual page body and after that we have footer fragment it means that we have successfully used fragment expressions to insert a fragments in this thumblip template all right this is how we can use a fragment expressions to insert a fragments in a thumblip templates all right i hope you understood how to use fragment expressions to insert a fragments in a thumblip templates Alright great, I will see you in the next lecture.